Hi, my name is Lakin, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm going to be showing some new techniques on uh, glazing, throwing, um, just whatever I have to give to you guys. And today we're going to be doing Get Glazed, which is a segment I have that's going to be teaching you like techniques on how to glaze. It should be pretty cool. Let's get going. We're doing it. All right. And then we're going to take a road trip. We're going to take this road trip down to my glazing area. All right. So, I have a huge studio here. That is not mine. It's my, it's my job. All right. So, here's my setup here. This is a little coffee pot I'm working on. It's slip cast. It's got a little deer on it. And so the first technique you want to do when you are glazing is you want to clean off your like item. So here we are. Take you guys down here. You want to like clean off the item from like dust so that like you don't get any like defective glazing happening. Alright, so you just gotta wipe, give it a wipe down. And here, I just have a bucket of water that I'm dipping this in. This sponge here. Alright. Clean off the inside. You don't want to get super wet either, because then the glaze doesn't like really adhere to it. All right. So another thing I'm working with is glaze. Is uh, this wax material, which is wax resist, and it's kind of like scary at first because you have to like make sure that you don't get it on anything else because you'll have to like refire or like rebisk your item because uh, it won't like glaze stick to it so you have to be super careful. You have to definitely pay attention be super focused. Alright, get that done. And then I recommend using like a particular brush that like you don't really care about for your wax because it pretty much ruins it. And then keep like a bucket of water by so you can keep your brush in so it doesn't like dry out. All around the bottom and I got the sides. So in case I put like a glaze on there like drips, we'll make sure that we, it doesn't like stick to the shelf or anything when you fire it. Right, and then we're just gonna turn this over and we're gonna let it dry. You have to wax the, on a lidded object, you have to wax the, the inside of the lid right over here so that it doesn't stick to, stick to your object when you put your glaze on it. So, all we gotta do is take a little bit of our wax, you have to be super careful. Trying to get the, the rim of it. We gotta paint all this on here very carefully. Okay. And then, now that we got it done here, we can glaze this. Alright, guys, so here we go. I did a little design, a little bit of mushrooms on this guy, and there's nothing on the back here. Alright, and then if you're gonna fire them together. Okay, so I have a bunch of underglazes that I am about to paint. And we also have a variety of brushes. All right, so I just finished underglazing this guy. Cool, so I did like a little pattern here. There we go, like some mushrooms. I also did the lid. Real simple. Nothing on the inside. 
And then we're gonna, just gonna clear glaze this. So here we are, we have our bucket of clear glaze. You wanna mix up your glaze. Take this and we're gonna dip in. We're gonna try to tip, dip it in for like minimum one, two seconds because we don't want it to like get super like cloudy, which happens with some clear glazes. So just kind of go in real quick, like hold on to something, like the bottom of it, really stable. You don't want to hold on to the handle because that'll break off. So you're going, probably like scoop in so you get the inside too. Just like that, done. Now we're gonna shake. All right, now we do a little lid. Dip this guy, one, two, seven, one, done. Lid back on, done. So, this is all the glazing I've gotten done today. All of this. We didn't do those yet. We got all of these done. 